I see a lot of people asking if you can export files from Cricut Design Space. No, you cannot export anything. Some people will give you a hack of doing a screenshot that's going to make a low quality PNG or JPEG file, but there is a way to get a high quality PNG or JPEG file from Cricut Design Space. This video was actually talking about using this hack specifically for the warped text feature, but I'm shortening up this video to just show you how to get a PNG file from Cricut Design Space. It's not really an export, but it still gets you the file you need. Let's hit save. Now I'm going to go down to my C drive on my computer and go to users. And then under users, go to the one with your name or your husband's name if he set up your computer and click on Cricut Design Space. Then we're gonna go into the local data. Then you're gonna see some files with a bunch of numbers. I was guessing that the numbers related to dates, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's click on one of those and then I'm going to click on Canvas. And again, more folders with more numbers. I really want to figure out what these numbers mean, but I can click on a preview. And this is a project I was just recently working on. So now I just have to figure out which one of these files is the one for my um, Good Vibes Only project. So yes, I am speeding up the video because you don't want to see me digging through everything. I even tried adding a shape to this project, thinking that would make it a more recent save. That didn't work. Then while I was digging around in some folders, I noticed that there was one that was called Details. So I decided to open it to see what it was and see if maybe that would give me some of the information that I was looking for. There is a number right at the beginning of that and that matches with the number of the folder. So if I could somehow figure out what that number is on this project, that would help me. I tried going into the project details to figure that out Still haven't figured out how the number relates from the project to the file folder. So again, I just kept until I found the file I was looking for. I do want to point out it shows black in the background. It's a PNG, but it's showing black because it's a transparent background. I really want to stress this because I feel like it's super important. PNG files and SVG files are not the same thing. If you go to my website, seanmosh.com, you will find an entire article just about what is an SVG file. So let me close this and I'm going to remember that this is the project canvas number. Okay. So now I am going to start a new project. I'm going to go upload, upload my image and browse. And I want to browse to here, or I could just drag that. And that brought in my image. I'm going to click on complex actually. Let's go continue. You can see in this screen, the background is already a checkerboard or it looks like it's been removed. That's because it was a transparent PNG file. If I go preview cut image, there you can see that's what it's gonna cut. Apply and continue. Make sure to click on the cut image. So I'm gonna call this good vibes only test and go upload. So now I can add that to my canvas. So now you're probably thinking, Sean, that's great. But originally it was three colors. And if you want to see how I made it the three colors again, just 
go watch the second half of this video. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.